This is an amphibious assault ship of the Tarawa EE Wasp class. Here is why it exists. Amphibious warships are built to support the ideas of operational maneuver from the COMFTS and ship to objective maneuver STOM, which were established by the United States Marine Corps. They have to be able to sail while risking their lives and be able to rapidly build up their fighting strength on land when confronted by an adversary. Due to the inherent capabilities of these ships, they have been and will continue to be called upon to assist in a variety of humanitarian and other emergency operations on short notice. This trend is expected to continue. The amphibious force that is maintained by the United States of America is the largest and most capable in the world. At this time, the WASP-class LHDS are the biggest amphibious ships in use anywhere in the world. In July 1989, in Norfolk, Virginia, the USS Wasp LHD-1 became the first ship in the fleet to be commissioned. The LHA replacement, also known as the LHAR, is the LALHAR, is the subsequent stage in the iterative development of the Big Deck Amphitheater. She is being designed to provide the Marine Corps Future Air Combat Element ACEA, which will include the F-35D Joint Strike Fighter JSF and the MV-22 Osprey, with additional aviation maintenance capability and increased fuel capacity. She will also increase cargo stowage capacity and enable a broader, more flexible command and control capability. These features will be incorporated into her design. Ingalls Shipbuilding Ingalls Shipbuilding is the company that constructed the vessel. Navy and Marine Corps armor includes two RAM launchers, two NATO Sea Sparrow launchers, and three 20MIM Phalanx CIWS mounts, four each, 50mm MK-38 machine guns, and 320 MK 38 machine guns and 320 MA Phalanx CIW Bite Half 325 MMA K 38 machine guns. Two boilers, two geared steam turbines, and two shafts are used for propulsion, as are two gas turbines and two shafts each. A speed of above 20 knots, 66 officers and 1004 enlisted men makes up the crew. Marine Detachment 1687 soldiers plus 184 surge. 12 H-46 Sea Knight helicopters, 4 H-53 Sea Stallion helicopters, 6 of 8 B Harrier attack aircraft, 3 H-11 Huey helicopters, and 4 A-1 Huey helicopters, and 4 A-1 U Super Cobra helicopters are among the aircraft in the fleet. A landing or attack craft must have either 3 LCACs or 2 LCUs. Tarawa class. Constructor. Ingalls Shipbuilding Operators. United States Navy and Marine Corps Armament consists of three types. 50 caliber machine guns, 3 RAM launchers, 2 Phalanx 20 MCI US mounts, 4 25 MMA 38 machine guns, and 2 RAM 38 machine guns, and 2 RAM launchers, 2 boilers, 2 geared steam turbines, and 2 shafts are used for propulsion. With a speed of 24 knots, the Marine Detachment has 1,900 or more personnel, including 82 officers and 882 enlisted personnel. There are a total of 12 H 46 C Knight helicopters. 4 H 53 Sea Stallion helicopters, 6 A 8 B Harrier attack aircraft, 3 U 1 Huey helicopters, and 4 A 1 Huey helicopters. There is a total of either 4 Lucas and 1 Elkosopters. There is a total of either 4 Lucas and 1 All class for landing and assault craft. The amphibious assault ship is the largest type of amphibious warfare ship operated by the United States Navy. They are able to operate vertical and short takeoff and landing VIC stole, short takeoff vertical landing STOVL vertical take off and landing VTOL tilt road, rotary wing aircraft, and they have the appearance of a small aircraft carrier. Because they were designed to support the use of landing craft with air cushions LLCAC and other watercraft, the first two LHAR class ships, LA-6 and LHAR class ships, LA-6 and LHA-7, do not have a well deck. Amphibious assault ships, on the other hand, have a well deck to support the use of LCAC and another watercraft. The LHA-8 will be equipped with a well deck, the LHA-8 will be equipped with a well deck, the cornerstone of the Amphibious Readiness Group ARG and Expeditionary Strike Group ESG Modern US. Navy Amphibious Assault Ships Project Power and Retain Presence These ships carry and land members of the Marine Expeditionary Unit MEU or Marine Expeditionary Brigade. MEU or Marine Expeditionary Brigade MEB using a combination of aircraft and landing craft. They are important components of the 21 sea power pillars of sea strike and sea basing. In addition to moving by landing craft, 
the Tarawa class LHAS and WASP class LHDS and WASP class LHDS give the Marine Corps a way to get from ship to shore by helicopter. During operations Desert Shield and Storm, three LHAS, which have large amounts of storage space and can accommodate landing craft utility and LSA craft, took part since then. Laz and then Laos have taken part in important U.S. military operations like occupation, combat, and humanitarian aid. Such actions have included serving as launching pads for Marine Corps Expeditionary Forces into Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom in 2001 and 2001 and 2002, Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003 and 2003, and humanitarian assistance following the devastation of the 2004 tsunami. Two LHDs acted as Harrier carriers during Operation Iraqi Freedom, deploying an air group of AVA TAC aircraft against targets inside Iraq. Thousands of Marines and their equipment were flown to Iraq and Afghanistan for combat operations in 2004 using LHDs and LHDs and LHDs and LHAs and LHAs. More recently, LHD-7, which housed hundreds of police, fire, and rescue personnel during recovery efforts and served as the key command and control hub, provided crucial post-Hurricane Katrina help in New Orleans. The Navy and Marine Corps attained the targeted level of amphibious combat ships with the arrival of Iwo Jima in 2001, including LHA-LHD, LPD, LHD-4149, that offer fully functional expeditionary strike groups to meet expected forward presence and expeditionary strike groups to meet expected forward presence and expeditionary missions. Macon Island LHD-8, the 8th LHD, was delivered to the Navy in April 2009 and put into service in October 2009. LHD-8 is the first surface ship in the Navy to be equipped with both gas turbines and an auxiliary propulsion system. It is also the first amphibious assault ship in the U.S. Navy to use gas turbines rather than steam boilers, APS. The ship's shaft is propelled by two induction-type auxiliary propulsion motors, APM, which are driven by the ship's electrical grid rather than the primary propulsion engines. The ship will be able to use its APS for around 75 of the time it is moving instead of its gas engines, which are less effective at slower speeds. The Navy anticipates fuel savings of more than $250 million throughout Macon Island's lifetime. Additionally, the Navy will save money on maintenance and lifespan expenses because the gas turbines won't be used very often. A thorough machinery control system that also manages and oversees damage control, ballasting and deballasting, fuel fill, and auxiliary machinery manages the complete propulsion and electric system. The ship can quickly transition from gas turbine to electric propulsion thanks to the machinery control system. Every console has full system control and monitoring for the whole engineering plant, and it can be accessed from many different places because it is fully distributed. The future USS America LHA-6, the first ship in the LA, will also utilize the propulsion system, electrical distribution, and auxiliary equipment planned and constructed for Macon Island. In June 2007, LHA-6 was put under contract with NGSB, which is now Huntington Ingalls Industries HII. The Navy is expected to receive the LHA-6, a modified Lady HA-6, a modified LOD-8 that is aviation focused in 2013. The main differences between LHA-6 class ships and light class ships are a larger hangar deck, better aviation maintenance facilities, more aviation fuel capacity, more aviation storerooms, the removal of the well deck, and an electronic C4 ISR suit. Three of the original five Tarawa class, LHAs, as have recently been decommissioned. The U.S. Bellow Wood LHA-3, USS Saipan LHA-2, USS Tarawa.